What is up, guys? So, um, today I have a very special demo, um, or very special demos. These are mo three models that, um, oh, excuse me, I've never, ever been able to make that I've already, that I've just made. Um, one of them is, like, one of the hardest origami models <coughs> in, like, origami history. And the other one, like, was really challenging. I didn't, I didn't really understand how you were able to fold it, but I ended up folding it. And then this one's just the easy, easy, uh, flasher, uh, what's it called? I don't even know what it's called. Uh, ISO area flasher, I guess. 16 by 16 ISO area flasher. I just wet folded this. And this is what it looks like. And it is so cool. <coughs> I think it's one of the best flashers. That is number one. Number two is the Squishy Spring Into Action Tessellation Tower. This is the one that I've never really understood how to fold it. It was super hard, but it is so cool. Like, just like, check this out. Like, isn't that so cool? Like, so basically... Like, it can fold into, like, this weird thing, and then you can squish it the other way, like this. This is, like, the power part. And it's based off of, like, the pattern where you make the, the spring into action. That's where the squishy spring into action tessellation tower comes in, because it is, like, basically the spring into action you can see it, it's basically like the spring into action like pattern, except you skip two. You skip two units, make the pattern, and he uses the same method, the way of copying the folds. So that is the Squishy Spring to Action Tessellation Tower by Jeremy Schaefer. These are all by Jeremy Schaefer, so that is the second model. <coughs> and the third model I'm very excited about. I folded this yesterday, boom, flasher hat, 32 by 64, no, 32 by 32 grid of square creases, and then uh, 64 by 64 of diagonals, and this is it. I was able to actually fold this. This is the hat, and um, it can, it can close up, I mean, not as good, but... That's as good as it goes. Like, I've been trying to, like, crease it well, but it's just not going to work. <sighs> this is probably as good as I can get it. And, yeah, and it's it's a flasher. It just doesn't really work that well. It just goes, like, psh. And this doesn't really fit on my head. Let's see. Woo. Okay, so, no, it does not fit on my head. Um, But that's that's it. And this is what it looks like. This is like the hardest model that Jeremy Schaefer Origami has ever made or ever designed. And I actually was able to fold it. And I mean, he's done like the the squishy spring impact and tessellation tower. This guy. And then he's also done this. The uh, flasher. The iso area flasher. This one, a lot of people can fold, but some people still think it's difficult. And, yeah, and, uh, I don't know if I showed you this yet. Here, I'll be right back. Okay, I'm sorry about that. Um, model number four, I guess I have more. The Origami Flasher Deluxe Tessellation. This is it. It is so cool. So basically, Jeremy Schaefer did the, da uh, the Flasher Deluxe and then basically just turned it into a tessellation. And this is what it looks like. 
it is so amazing, like, what this guy can do. Or, yeah. Then, obviously, this bad boy. Or, no, not obviously, but, yeah. <coughs> so, this is the Origami Slinky by Joe Nakashima. Pretty sure. And then, a bunch of other people did it. Um, or, they demoed it. So, um, that is, that's all the demos. That's, like, these are, like, the best origami, like, models I've ever made in my life. And then, like, I got the magic ball. One moment, please. Got this one. Magic ball. It's a ball. Okay, that is it for today. Whoops. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I will hat you later.